right, hello. How is everyone doing today? This is the Server Supreme here, serving you up some fresh Daggerfall content. Um, some things I want to cover today is we're going to go into this game. Um, I've got one quest I want to cover that I just got to get done quick, quick because there's a, a time duration on it. So we're going to stop at three different locations and we basically got to convince these people to pay their landlord because they've decided to not pay them properly and this guy's kind of upset because he wants his money and he knows that they're making the money and if for some reason they're not he wants us to figure out why and then the second thing I want to cover is uh, I do play a thief character so we do need to or I do want to be joining the thieves guild and in this game to join the thieves guild uh, you pretty much just gotta commit some criminal activity such as pickpocketing breaking into houses stealing and eventually someone's gonna come up and give you a note and they're gonna tell you pretty much hey you need to uh, join up with us or there's gonna be some problems so we're gonna take the ladder and gonna join up with the thieves guild in that way um, in another video, I do want to cover the Dark Brotherhood as well, because that's something I also want to do. Uh, just a quick note, I know you've noticed that uh, my aspect ratio is a little bit different this time in this video. Um, I'm trying to switch how I stream, just because I stream, on, or not stream, but I record on an ultra-wide monitor, which is great for people that view on desktop and things of that nature, but if anyone ever wants to clip my content, make a short out of it, or if I decide to do that myself, um, in that ultra-wide aspect ratio, it's really hard to do that. So I'm going to try doing things this way. If anyone's really disappointed with it or anything of that nature, please just leave me a message in the comments. I will address that. But um, I do think this is going to work out better. Um, you know, and I know I got some bricks on the top and bottom, bottom of my window. I just felt like that was a little tasteful and the best I could do other than leaving a black bar. But with further ado, let's get into this. We're going to open up our log here. Um, and we're going right here. Uh, Mr. Mastercroft and Syn Syncroft uh, is losing his money, like I said. And he gave me a document, pretty much. And there was four locations I needed to go to. Uh, the last video I made, I kind of tweaked my settings a little bit in OBS and the quality was absolutely horrible and I did an hour long video and it was basically unusable. It was trash and I didn't want to post it. So uh, in the last video pretty much uh, I went through a dungeon um, and I pretty much had to capture someone for their birthday and it almost seemed like we were going to... Uh, bring him to a dungeon and kill him, but it was just for a surprise party. They just wanted to make it seem like uh, he was abducted. So that was a little strange, but uh, it turned out to be A-OK. -okay. And then I took this quest, and in the first part of this quest, the first person that owed money, I went to the innkeeper, and he pretty much sent some guards on me to kill me. So I'm guessing these other three people that I'm going to go to are not going to be as friendly as well. So, but we shall see. So... We're going to go right into inventory here. I'm going to try to knock this quest out as fast as I can. I like to keep my videos within like an hour's length. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is put some gold in my cart. Because gold is rather heavy in this game. I didn't realize that. Yeah, uh, look at that. It was like a, a hundred pounds. I'm not really sure. hundred stones, I think they measure in. Uh, just for all that gold. So yeah, this is the first Elder Scrolls game that I've played that the gold actually has weight. So, um, no, I don't want to drop any more gold pieces, but I do want to read this. Alright, so the next place we have to go is, I already did this, the Rat and the Hedgehog. Second, Agricultural Concern called the Woodhouse Farmstead. So we're going to go there. Uh, again, we're going to knock out this quest, and then we're going to jump into uh, lock picking stealing from houses. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do pickpocketing because uh, I really don't think that's one of my uh, skills. Let's see, maybe it is. If it is, oh it is pickpocket, but it is rather low. So, But we'll see. Maybe we'll do some pickpocketing too, but I'm really going to focus on lockpicking, breaking into houses, stealing some loot, and trying to make some money off of that. Alright, so where are we going here? We are going to the Woodhouse Farmstead. Let me open up the map. Nope, I want to travel there. 
are fine. Wood house. Here we go. That's where we gotta go. Yes, we do. It's gonna cost us 50 gold and take 10 days to get there. That's a okay with me. If you're interested in thief, try something little and you will be rewarded eventually. That doesn't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's me, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. But whatever. What's up, Mr. Orc? Elena Hawkton stops daydreaming and looks around. The Woodhouse Farmstead produces the usual products. Some wheat, a little fruit, and an assortment of regional vegetables. Better than their main crop is indolent, not entirely legal, but very profitable. Far too profitable for the meager returns they've been sending in for the past few months. Wait here, and I'll go see what's what. With, El Elena Hawkton, with that, Elena, Elena Hawkton wanders off, which strikes you as uncharacteristically brave. The crops on this farm look really healthy and well taken care of. After a few minutes, you hear raised voices. Elena Hawkton emerges and she does not look happy. I have arrived in the Woodhouse Farmstead in the Daggerfall region. The date is Midas, the 11th of First Seed, in the year 405 of the Third Era. You come across someone carrying a quill and several scrolls and sheets of paper. They were not amenable to my reasonable suggestions. Give me a moment. Elena Hawkton thinks for a while. Aha! The ringleader is a very superstitious type. They have a particular fear to all things undead and supernatural. I know a warlock at the Mages Guild in Wesley. Let's pay them a visit. Alright, so I guess I'm traveling right away. So, alright. Um, I guess that makes that easy. What's over here? Ranger? Let me see what she says. My name is... Guinevra Greenham. I'm a cartographer trying to map out all of the Iliac Bay. I can also help you find some of its more obscure locations if you're interested. Sure. Always nice to see someone interested in cartography. Take care. Do you want to buy a map for 250 gold? Sure, why not? Here you go. Right, well, we'll look at that later. Because I don't want anything starting any other kinds of quests. Um, Alright, so let's check our log. And we need to go to... Finish quests. Oh, really? All right. So I would have thought. Uh, maybe let me let me check this piece of paper. I would have thought it would have logged that in my book, but it did not. Anyway, let me let me uh let's see. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, you know what? I'll save my game really quick. Why not? Save here. And then, uh, let's see. Let's open the map. And I'm just going to pause this for a quick second and uh, take a look back to see if I can figure out where she wanted me to go because it didn't really log it down. Let me see. Um... Alright, um, that's slightly frustrating. Maybe, maybe I didn't look. I know what I'm going to do here, so let me pause really quick. I'm going to reload a save and jump back in and freaking 
find the, the name of the place. That's a little frustrating, but sometimes Daggerfall can be like that. Alright, so I'm back here, and we need to go to Wesley. So, uh, just be aware, I guess it never hurts to have a pen and paper handy next to you, just in case uh, a dialogue comes up and it doesn't happen to get logged in your logbook. Remember, this is a game originally from 1996, and even with the Unity engine, they've done a lot to get rid of all the bugs and things of that nature. Um, but sometimes little things like that, I can't, maybe it's not a bug, but again, little things like that can be slightly frustrating, but easily resolved if you save rather often. That's why I always tell people, save your game, save very regularly. You never know when something may or may not happen that could be catastrophic. All right, so we're going to open up our map, and we are going to Westley. That was what? W-E-S-T-L-E-I-G-H. Man, wow, man. Yeah, I want to go. Why does everything have to be so far apart? Good thing I have a little bit of money. Uh, ends. Yep, yep. All right, six days. Let's do it. Oh, look at that guy. I know I have an enemy expansion mod on here too, which adds a couple new enemies to the game. So. So if you see an enemy you haven't recognized before, or if you used to play this back in the 90s, that might be it. Or even if you've played it recently and see some things that you don't have in your game, uh, that's just one of the mods I have on here. And uh, like I said, I'll, I, I try to keep a mod list in the description. So if there's anything you know I have a question about or wondering like what mod does what, if you want to put it in your game, then uh, let me know. And also I tell people all the time if anyone ever wants me to do a uh, video on how I modded my game and got it to work the way it did, just leave a comment or show me some interest, you know, let me know and I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. Alright, there's a monument labeled in honor of the 276 soldiers who lost their lives in the Battle of Wesley. You come across, come across someone praying. Again, all these little extra things. Is someone... Oh, we just... We just got some people here shooting at me. Are, are they shooting at me? I don't even know. Rogue just died. Right. Nope, don't want to rest. Just wanted to make sure I'm not shooting the wrong person here. Sure, I'll take all their goodies. Why not? Arrows. Need arrows. I have a hard time finding arrows. So anytime I come across arrows, I try to pick them up. You know, maybe that's just my game, but I'm just putting everything in my cart here. I love having this cart. I talk to this healer here, walking around barefoot. My name is Ed Waster Yumhaus. I am a healer by profession and a devout follower of Kinnereth. Are you perhaps in need of a cure or an illness? Yes. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> can you make a vial? I can make you a vial of panica that can cure any illness so that's a little steep no thank you i've already got cure disease potions so all right so i'm gonna go to the mages guild here uh maybe i'll even pick up a, an illusion spell or two because i know i'm trained in illusion but i don't have any illusion spells this kind of looks like the mages guild let me look at the map uh no those are in so it's one of these two buildings oh why not Splash, 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 splash. Oh, I really should be using my cart, but that's okay. Or if it has them. Pull out the cart. Yeah, the sooner you guys can get a cart in this game, the better. Because this makes life a lot easier. Oh, where am I, going? Oh, I might as well keep... I want to say this is going to be a temple by the shape of it, but who knows? I may be wrong. Yeah, that's definitely a temple. I was looking online and I think I will join a temple at one point and want to say like the Temple of Kinnereth. Just because they get a, a spell maker and things of that nature and um, I do know the Mages Guild is a little bit easier to rank up in but I'm not focusing on being a mage so I really don't want to join the Mages Guild. Uh, I guess we'll check out the shops here too. This is just the residence. Oh, there's some shops right here. Champion Gear Store, a couple of General Stores, Wesley Market, General Surprise, Residence. Alright, uh, 
It's either this or this. It's one of these two. So maybe I'll check here if that's not the Mage's Guild. I'll check out which stores they got here. I'm always looking to know where there's uh, pawn brokers because pawn brokers typically buy almost any type of gear, or at least a lot of the miscellaneous stuff that you'll find in dungeons that, you know, they're worth a lot, but not very many people like to buy them. So usually you got to go to a pawn broker for that. House for sale. Oh, look at that. This is definitely another temple here. Julianos. The puddles here. Right, um, it's definitely that one. Maybe I'll go across here. I will go to the east. Check out which shops are there too. Because before I leave town, maybe I'll actually go and uh, see if they have any arrows or any new gear for sale. You know, I do have a little bit of money on me. I got about 8,000 coins. Benign market? Oh, bargain market. I thought I said benign. Puree's quality wares. A lot of general stores. Uh, oh, I missed one here. And Ed Wivel's warehouse. It's always go good to go to the cheaper stores to buy things at the expensive stores to sell things to get your uh, money's worth. I'll check out this tavern too really quick just to get it marked. Silverhelm, just in case I ever have a quest back here, I know which tavern to go to. So this is definitely the Mage's Guild here. Oops, going for a little swim here. Uh, open from 11. It's rather early. Alright, so... I could just wait, but... I'll go check out these other stores really quick and uh, see if there's any gear I can get here. Right, not to fall into the water because that slows me down a bit. Look at the horses. Clickety clack, clickety clack goes the cart. Alright, here we go. So let's see what's over here. Residence. It's probably another residence. Yep. More general stores. Quality sundries. Gear, gear. All right. Uh, maybe I'll pop into one of these. Rusty relics lie wherever they were last tossed. All the wares show the cracks and chips of shoddy workmanship. A mouse scampers over your feet before burrowing into a nearby sack. So typically when you get this message before going in a store, um, it usually means the prices will be pretty good. It's not going to be the highest quality of gear in here, but um, you will get pretty much the best prices, depending on your mercantile, of course. It is a beautiful spring day outside, and the mood of the shopkeeper and the superior gear is bright. Perhaps you can get a good deal off them on a couple of items that impress you. Alright, so let's see what he has for sale. With Dwarven Sword Sword, and unfortunately I don't think I use short swords. I'm guessing there must be large carts too, which can hold even more gear. Let me just check. I really don't think I have short blade as any of my skills. Yeah, blunt weapon. Let's see, silver mace, four to twelve, three to ten. That might not actually not be a bad idea to grab that. Always try to upgrade your gear when possible. I've got quite a few rations. Metal one claw. One more shelf. Sometimes they have like another shelf upstairs. I guess they do. I mean, Elven Mace, even better. 5 to 13. Elven Warhammer. Almost new. Worn. I'm kind of wondering if I should go 5 to 19. That's a serious bit of damage. 8.5, 6. Hmm, now that's the question. Maybe I should go with... Let's just move on for that. Three hundred and thirty-two. Not sure, why not? I'll get the Warhammer. And let's see. I don't think there's going to be any more items. I don't want to talk to him because he'll probably offer me a quest, and that's not what's on the agenda today. 
Yeah, pretty much almost anyone can offer you a quest in this game. So, and all right, so I want to say that's it. I really wish you would have had some uh, some arrows for sale because I only got 24 left. I want to say I've got plenty of camping equipment and stuff like that. As long as I got two, I got plenty to sell, plenty of stuff to sell. I might have to go into armor to sell that. Yeah, I got at least one there. I got two. Yeah. All right, so. I know you've noticed sometimes it gets a little choppy, but that typically goes away right away. I've only had the game crash on me once, so, which is pretty good, in my opinion. You know, and that's usually after like over an hour of gameplay, and I reloaded one game that I kept constantly dying on about five or six times. So check your sturdy shelves cobbled together out of the scrap lumber hold the shop's wares. The items are sound and functional, but little more than that. So this is kind of like a medium level store, I would like to say, so... This is like the borderline. You'll find decent gear and get decent prices. Continue. An open window and Albane's quality sun dries brings in the smell of spring. Spring flowers as you look over your money to see what you can afford. There are several displayed items that might prove useful. Oh, I'm kind of wondering, is it spring now? Maybe the season changed when I was traveling. Uh, let me just see what you got here. Open battle axe. Open staff. I'm not a big fan of staffs because they really don't do any damage. Uh, no. Another warhammer, longbow. I'd really like to find a better bow. I think I will buy a torch. I'll buy an orange too. I'm going to have to pull some money out of my cart here. Just pull out a thousand gold. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, nope. I want to say I'm probably going to have to go to an armor for that. Apple, I'll buy an apple. Red cloak. I'm using a short bow right now. Maybe I will grab what is this used. I will grab the long bow. I'll keep the short bow though, just for the purpose of. Should have checked up here first. We're finding a better bow up here or something like that. Or maybe not. I don't know, I'll buy some oil, because I can't remember if I bought oil or not. Alright, buy that. Alright, so... Should be good. Alright, let me get... I guess let me see if there's anything I can sell here. I want to sell the cart. I guess I can sell the shirt. Wagon. Uh, that one too. Ah, uh, sure. Take. Oh, you know what? To get the most experience. Sell everything one item at a time. I don't blame you not wanting the apple. Sell the roads too. Ooh, not bad. One thing about repairing in this game is it takes usually a couple days for the item to repair, so sometimes it's best to have like one main town you like to visit and set some items to be repaired and have some backup gear that you can go out and adventure with. I do know I want to go before I leave to, I want to say the armor is up here. I will check out this one last shop and then see, what is it, it's still a little bit early too, so. Can't really waste time in this game, it's like, yeah, you can go around and like, wait, but then that's burning up your time to get quests done. I do like that there's time limits on stuff though, it gives like, kind of like a, uh, 
not that it's a rush, but like some sort of sense of urgency to get things done. You know, you can't take a quest that to protect the king that's going to get assassinated and just decide when you feel like protecting him. Oh, that's a pawn shop right there. No, they don't open till nine. All right. That is odd. All right, so one more store I haven't checked out yet. Uh, warehouse. So that's all general. Maybe I'll go north and hit up the. Uh, Armor shop really quick, see if I can grab a little new armor, or maybe even, uh, well, I don't want to repair anything yet, but, well, this isn't a bad town, I'll tell you that. Do -do 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 -do. I want to say thank you again for everyone who joined me on this adventure today, I really appreciate it. I hope you like the content, and I hope you like my narrating skills. If you want to call it that. Yeah, I do want to get through this quest. I know I went too far. Really don't want to take too, too long, but at the same time, I do want to play the game correct. Champion gear store. I thought for sure there was an armory over here. Let me check. Incense and soft music soothes your nerves as you cross the threshold. Each item in the shop is carefully mounted and displayed. Not the slightest defect can be detected in any item within. So there should be some good gear here. Ooh, he looks friendly. You enter Edvil's warehouse and bring with you a cool spring breeze that ruffles many of the items of interest displayed on the shelves or on the shopkeeper. Let's see what you got in here, sir. It's another general store. Hmm. No arrows. I would love some arrows. So short bow. Anything you would like to buy? Hmm. Must be a shade. Banks can get you a loan if you're short on money. Ah. I have yet to take out a loan. I have not been in a situation where I need to take out a loan. Alright, uh, 11 o'clock. Well, we're probably going to have to do some waiting around here. I'll check over here one more time just to see if there was a, a blacksmith I happened to miss. I thought I saw a blacksmith on the way in. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. And then we'll go and try to knock out these two other quests. Where am I at here? I'm already at 28 minutes. Oof. General stores, all the wares, bargain market, warehouse. These are pretty much are all general stores. So let me go over here and see if there is a blacksmith. If not, we're just going to go quickly to the Mages Guild, fast forward time a little bit, and uh, get that knocked out of the way. Oh, this is just another, uh, what do you call it? Pawn shop. Alright, so let's just go to the Mages Guild here. I'll go forward in time a little bit. And I will see if there's any uh, spells I can buy, because if I'm going to do some thieving, I want to say a spell of invisibility wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Or maybe Chameleon. Anything to keep the guards off our backs. Eleven, eight fifty-three, nine, ten, eleven. So, two. Four. So they're almost open. This 
guy that waits out the side of a store, like, waiting for them to open up. Gotta be the first customer today. Tell you what the mages like to sleep in, that's for sure. Nine, alright, come on, one more minute. Look at that rat. Khajiits are great climbers and thieves. That's why I'm a Khajiit. You're into the Mages Guild. The smell of sulfur and rotting parchment replacing that of new spring blossoms. Scrolls and potions, relics and artifacts vie for space on the bookshelves. You can hear small living things scuttling behind the volumes of alien encyclopedia. So, you know, there's someone in here I need to talk to. I don't remember the name, so I'm just gonna go around and talk to people until I find who I need. Eight spells. Members only. Members only. Look at all these wacky wizards. Saying you should be able to buy spells from people even if you're not a member. Gage of summoning. It's something I'd like to do at some point. Oh, I did not mean to go outside. Whoopsie! I'm gonna say that's a spriggan right there. Alright, we're going back in. Ah, continue. Big stretch. Enter the Mages Guild to smell- okay, I read that already. Try not to accidentally- ah, there we go. The Warlock recognizes Elena Hawkton immediately. Fortunately, everyone seems on good terms. Elena Hawkton, it's been a long time. The Warlock begins. Doubtless you have need of my assistance in some nefarious underhanded scheme. How can I help? Elena Hawkton explains her desire to purchase an enchanted gem which can summon placid zombies. I have the very thing. One moment. The warlock rummages around and then presents you with a sparkling gemstone. Elena Hawkton slips it into his pocket. What? That's, it's definitely a her. Slips it into her pocket and hands over a curse of coins. Now let's get back to the Woodhouse Farmstead and have some fun. Alright, so we will do actually a quick save. Um, and I guess while I'm here, let's see if there's anyone here that sells spells really quick. Okay, so you come here to identify stuff, but I don't need to identify it. I want to buy a spell if anyone has some spells for sale. I want to make spells, I want to buy spells. Yeah. figured. Maybe there isn't anyone I can buy spells from here. I don't have time. Is that it? Did I spoil the entire place already? Maybe they just don't have anyone that sells spells here. How unfortunate. I suppose that's okay. There's a couple doors I haven't peeked in just yet. What's up, homie? Buy a magic item? Ah, of course. Pretty sure I left red online. Oh. Make magic items. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, well, I'm guessing there just isn't anyone here that can help me or is willing to help me. So, that's alright. Perhaps another time. Five spells. Ah, there we go. Cure poison, heal health. 
guessing that's uh, cost is down there. Let's see, chameleon. Visibility. 140 gold. Oh, not bad. I will take invisibility. Light. Hold on, let me look. I might buy the light spell just so I have something to... Something to cast to bring up my illusion skill. Maybe something controls that regenerate. I'm guessing that's something I should have did first. Oh well. So let me see. I don't even know how to open my spell book. <laughs> I haven't used it. Like that. Ah, see? Oh, cool. So I can select what icon I want. That's pretty nice. Classic and this. It looks like something that's. I don't really see too much. It would look like invisibility. Something like that. Sure, why not? Actually, I'm going to have to look how to cast the spell. And this cool. Oh wow, man, that uses a lot of magic. Oh, I did say I wanted to. Probably don't have enough to that, but oh, where is it? Light, 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 light. So I will buy that light spell, and I don't think I picked restoration as a skill. Oops, wrong button. Definitely not restoration. Definitely five. So let's just see if I can do the heal spell. So, got me a couple little spells. I think I went with the double casting points for intelligence, otherwise I wouldn't be able to cast anything. Right, so, but I feel like invisibility may come in handy later on. Alright, uh... Now we need to go back. We're going to do a quick little save here. Number four slot. We're going to go back to the farmstead. Uh, which was down here, I think. Yes. Cautiously. Horse ends. Begin. A guild member in one region is a member in the mall. It's in here at like about 40 minutes here. See what happens. You have arrived in the Woodhouse Farmstead in the Daggerfall region. The date is Morndos the 23rd of First Seed, in the year 405 of the Third Era. You come across someone picking some golden poppy, a traveling alchemist perhaps? Oh, they're rather, rather dark and gloomy today. You look like the sort of Khajiit who spends a lot of time adventuring. Wow, good guess. You never know when a potion might come in handy. Lucky for you, Morgara Kingston Kington is here. Would you like to see what I got? Sure. What kind of potions you got? 
Water breathing. Mm. No, why not? Take that. Slow falling, sure. Levitation. Um. Sure, it's a good potion to have. Sure, why not? Let's let's just buy the potions. My brother always plays this, and he tells me he always buys all the potions, so why not? Potions are hard to come by. Alright, so what do we got to do here? Farmer doesn't want you here. I guess I can't take any of their crops, because they're owned. I do have a mod that where you can normally uh, pick crops, but I'm guessing it's not allowed in this area. Alright, I guess let me see. Ruby. I'll save my game again, or I'll just do a quick save. And we will use this wonderful gem and see what happens. Use me? There we go. The enchanted gem glows brightly and then rapidly fades until it resembles a dull stone. You hear the familiar murmur that is the signature of the animated dead. As, and as promised, the newly summoned zombies are thankfully docile. Elena Hawkton looks even smugger than usual and trots off to find the ringleader. After a few minutes, Elena Hawkton reappears. Everything is arranged. I've persuaded them that the zombies will be as harmless as statues as long as this operation runs the way we want it to run. Our work is done. Our work here is done. Time to move on. <laughs> you see a zombie. That's got to a little be a little uncomfortable. I would not want to work on this farm. This is how the Walking Dead starts in uh, Daggerfall. Alright, so we are on. Here, I'll do another save. We are on to our next part here. And let's see. So we did two. And we got to go to Stockworth called the Essential Sundrise. Let us get our travel on. Stockworth. Let's do it. Why am I getting back shots of all these creatures? Mm. Booties of the enemies of Daggerfall. Again, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you guys like, if you could please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe if you could. It really helps me to produce, it encourages me to produce more content. I can't say that, you know, it really like helps me, helps me, but it does help build my channel, and I would love to be able to do this uh, more often. City streets are really well maintained and clean. It's good to know. You have arrived in the city of Stockworth in the Daggerfall region. The date is Sundas, the 29th of First Seed, in the year 405 of the Third Era. Stockworth seems a place of safety in an otherwise dangerous world. You walk through the gates of Stockworth, ruled by Lord Mordain Copperwing. The street seems strangely quiet. You come across someone picking some yellow berries, a traveling alchemist perhaps? Oh, there you are. Let me actually take some gold out of my cart. Just in case he has something really good, and I want to say, if I don't have the gold in my pockets, I can't spend it. You look like the shirt of the Khajiit that spends a lot of time adventuring. You know, when potion come in handy. Sure. Your disease, always good to have. Thank you very much. Resist shock, why not? Restore power, let's do it. All right, um, let me put my money back in my cart because it does get heavy. I'll keep a thousand gold on me. Or 1100, I didn't do my math correctly. Okay, I bought this food and I never even ate it. Just throw that on the ground. Healthy. 
Cold rested, cold and rainy. It's spring. Huh. I guess it's nice not to see all the snow now. Looks rather nice, man. I really like uh, the mods for the sky and the land here too. And the grass that blows. I know that's definitely not something that was in Daggerfall. Alright, so we are looking for a Pacific shop. Let's get on our cart. Eventually one day I will be buying a horse. Oh, what's on the bulletin board? Stock worth. Alright, so no plagues or anything crazy happening here. That's good to know. Check out our map. Ooh, this is a big city. See, this is the kind of city you'd like to make your home. Lots of shops. A couple guilds. I don't know. It's definitely a temple and... See the, the Fighter's Guild or the Mage's Guild over there. Um, let's see if anyone can point me in the right direction. Let me see exactly what store I'm looking for. Essential Sundries. Let's see if I can ask anyone where that is. I will head in this direction and kind of zigzag across until I find it if no one can point me in the right direction. What's up, piggies? Locations. I want to say it's a general. Ah, uh, there we go. I guess I can tell you it's awfully close by. It'd be best if I mark the ascent. Oh, that is so great. I love it when they do that. That's great. That is the best thing that can happen when you're looking for a location. I guess I'll take care of this and then, uh. You know what? I should ask if there's an armor in town, too. That would be good to know. Hold there, young lady. Uh, locations, armors. Right west. There we go. Mark that on my map too. Maybe I'll head there and there. Maybe armor first. kind of close to an hour. I might have to make uh, Thievery a second video here. Otherwise, I'll be looking at probably a two-hour video. You know. Oh, bookshop. You know, that's the thing. Sometimes Daggerfall, things just take a little bit of while, a little while to get some things done. But you know what? That's part of the fun of it. Get lost in this little fantasy world. It's great. can't believe I never came across this game before. Oh, well, again, I was only six years old when this came out, and I definitely did not have a family computer. Crimson Wolf. I think I got, we got our first family computer when I was like, I don't know, eight or nine years old, maybe ten years old. I mean, forget it. And then we're talking like, I think we're running a Pentium 3 with 800 megahertz bursting with all that speed, 256 megabytes of RAM, with an 8 gigabyte hard drive. Oh man, then I remember trying to put uh, Age of Empires 2 on there, and uh, you know, we didn't have enough space, so I thought it was okay, we'll just get rid of the System 32 folder, we don't need that, you know, and install Age of Empires, and then uh, I kind of was wondering why nothing was working well after that. Not really, what time did they open? 9 o'clock? So yeah, folks, never delete your System32 folder, although, you know what, it's not like we only have 8GB hard drives. If anyone still has just an 8GB hard drive, it's time to do a serious upgrade. Uh, uh, you know what, maybe I'll just, I will, I will wait. Two hours, that way the store opens up right away. Shop is laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. All the items seem to be of adequate construction. Man, look at that black bowl. Oh man, man. Listen to that ambiance inside. It looks like a new shipment of supplies arrived in Victor's Metalsmith at the same time the rain picked up outside. You notice several items of interest. Okay. And that sounds really realistic. Makes me want to look out the window outside and think it's raining, but there's definitely sun shining through my window. Let's see, any arrows? What do we got here? Chain boots. I cannot wear chain. Silver mace. Nothing I need there. Let's see. 
Dwarven Mail left Spolder. I want to say that's Chain and I can't wear that. Okay, I kind of figured. Oh, let's see if he's got anything he wants to buy. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff. Time to make some money. Yeah, I know it seems silly to sell one item at a time, but it gives me the most mercantile experience. Honestly, you know what? You can get pretty quick with it. Okay, I was like, let me just make sure I didn't have a Warhammer. Steal Warhammer. Accidentally sell all the gear that I'm wearing. That wouldn't be good. There you go. Made a little bit of gold there. Didn't really have exactly what I wanted, but... Like I said, for some reason, arrows have been really hard to come by for me. And as an archer, that's kind of pain in the butt. What's up, Mr. Bear? What's up, Yogi? Right, let's hop back in the cart. Alright, so... I know there is quite a few more smiths here. So, let me, uh... That's probably a smith down there. I'm wondering if I can decipher... No, I guess that wouldn't work, because that's a sunrise and that's a smith. Alright, let me go to the weast here. Weast? Oh, yeah, see? I ranked up my mercantile. Beautiful. Oh, wrong way. I might as well peek and see what this is called. Ooh. The Screaming Ogre. Sounds like a nice place to sleep. Do-do-do. Sorry, folks. I know a lot of this is running around, going to this shop, going to that shop, buying this thing, getting that thing. All items seem to be of adequate construction. Wow, that was a fast load time. You wipe the cool spring rain from your shoulders and head as you and head as you enter the champion smith. Most of the items within are meant more for the town's men than you. But you don't but you do see some adventuring equipment. Oh wow, he's got tons of stuff in here. A little bit yellow in here. Let's see. What dwarven warhammer? Six to twenty? Five to nineteen, I guess that's not that huge of an increase. You're charging for something like that. 900? Maybe not yet. Iron Cross. Let's say. Five armor, seven. Hmm. That rain's a trip. Did someone hold a microphone up to the roof? It was really convincing. Well, you don't really have what I need here, so... Oh yeah, we just leave our laundry on the floor. Are you hated in one region? Move to another and start over. That's why, too, when I start doing my uh, my thieving escapades, I am going to uh, go to another region to do that. The shop has been more appointed than many. Its wares lie neatly on shelves. Although not fit for a king, all are skillfully crafted. You enter the stock worth shielding, happy to be out of the cool spring shower. Many items of interest are displayed on the shelves around the shopkeeper. Okay, I went the wrong way here. Sorry, I went to your bedroom and dining area. Come on, arrows. No arrows.
Nothing that I need. Oh boy, we're coming up just to an hour here. Man. Let's let's get on finishing this quest. Part where is it? Essential sundries. Let's go. No more shenanigans, right to the quest. Let's do it. Cart. And we're almost there. We will get a horse soon to make things a little bit faster. Alright, we'll do a quick save here. Just in case this guy wants to get aggressive. The shop is laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. All the items seem of adequate construction. Most of the items within are meant for more than the townsmen than you. But you do see some adventuring equipment. As you enter the shop, Elena Hawkton pulls your arm and whispers. The store is used for... How shall I put it? Turning money from our not entirely legal activities into perfectly ordinary money. Oh, so money laundering. Ignore the shopkeeper. They're just a puppet. This operation is run by the accountant. Tristier Hawkford. They'll be around here somewhere. Maybe we can find something in the secret ledger. All kinds of criminal activities going on in Daggerfall. Not talk to him and maybe find a secret ledger around here very vague, so I don't know if I need to be searching private equipment. Uh, let me do a quick save here again, just in case. I get the feeling they don't want me to just... Uh, whatever, maybe I'll talk to Let me see what happens. The accountant recognizes Elena Hawkton and reluctantly produces a small leather-bound notebook. Elena Hawkton snatches it, flicks through it, clearly not understanding the contents, and then hands it to you. The ledger contains a massive list of numbers that means absolutely nothing to you. With a smug grin, the accountant takes back the ledger and puts it back in his pocket. Elena Hawkton steers you aside and whispers, I seem to recall that Trister Hawkford has a charming daughter called Elbeth Hawkhouse, who lives somewhere in New Newwood Wood. Let's pay her a visit. Oh, this has been quite the wild goose chase here. I guess I might as well see if they've got any arrows. No arrows. They got a nice latex suit, though. If I can eat some, eat some bread while I'm here. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, no arrows. You're useless, sir. Absolutely useless. Oh shoot, did I do it again where I didn't... Oh, I probably did. Oh man, so we're coming up on an hour here, folks. So, and I need to most likely look again because... Oh, I'd actually put it in my... See, I put it in my logbook this time. So I gotta go to Newwood. Earlier when I did that for the Mages Guild, it didn't update it, so... Alright, so maybe we'll travel to Newwood really quickly. And we're coming up on an hour, and I really don't want to push this video longer than an hour. And my next video is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be on stealing, and picking locks, going through houses, and getting hooked up with the Thieves Guild. So, and then probably after that video, um, I'll see about getting into the Dark Brotherhood, which is something I've been interested in, too. So, basically everything this class was made for. So, because I've tried Dungeon Delving, and I'm just, I don't have the gear or the strength to quite do it, you know, so I need a little bit more money to get hooked up and get more potions and stuff. Ooh, what is this? Potions? Incense and, so incense and soft music soothe your nerves as you cross the threshold. Each item in the shop is carefully mounted and displayed. Not the slightest defect can be detected of any item in it within. You enter the adventurer's tin cure. It's happy to be out of the cool spring shower. Many items of interest are displayed on the shelves around the shopkeeper. 
Okay. Oh, okay. It's just herbs. Oh, oh, it's potions. All right. I was hoping for a healing potion. Pricey. making potions right now, so I'm just going to sell all this stuff. Maybe at one point I'll be upset that I did this, but as of right now, I just want to get out of my inventory. Right, let's get out of here. What's up, Mr. Rogue? Endurance affects health regained per hour during rest and maximum health gain per level. Alright, so where are we going again? We are going to New Wood Wood. Save the game. Travel. Yeah. What is that? Looks friendly. I do hope everyone likes the content, the commentary, things of that nature. Again, I'm sorry I didn't get into the thieving aspect of this on this video. Um, I just needed really to go with you guys and complete this quest. I try not to play this game without streaming it. I really do. Um, even yesterday, I think I mentioned, you know, I, I changed my stream settings and things didn't work well, so I was unable to post that video. But uh, I will always try to post whatever I do in this game. Just so you guys can get an idea of what it's all about. And, uh, you know, and if you want to try it, I mean, it's absolutely free to try. And if you don't mind doing a little bit of modding work, you can bring it to this level or even make it look nicer than I have it. You see a statue with a plaque that reads St. Trister, Trist, Trister Morton, Morton of Newwood. The rest of the plaque gives a description of his life. How nice. I arrived in the village of Newwood. It's the third of Rain's Hand and the year 405. You arrive at Newwood, a village held by a council of elders. Although weary from travel, you find the place you find the place seems to beckon for exploration. Alright, so we are looking for his daughter. Ilbeth Hawkhouse. Let's see if anyone knows where she's at. Group of healers, friends and cure people, they offer a demonstrative clinic charging to teach. Mending basic wounds. Full lesson will take three hours. Ah, uh, sure. The traveling group, composed of priests, young and old, have many a anecdotes and a variety of techniques to show. To show, you learn all you can, watching what they do and committing movements to memory. Once the three hours are over, you feel your head is full of new facts, of a few which of having some practical use. So, and that probably definitely raised my uh, what's the skill called? Medical skill. Yep, medical skill went up. Not really, I didn't have anything to say about people. Did they give me a location? Elbeth Hawk House. Smith Residence. There? Yeah, let's see. Hopefully that's it. That would make things rather easy and quick. And we can get on to completing this video. An irritated voice hollers, It's open! Right. Oh, 
Oops, nymph there for a second. Uh, house, I think the name was. Oh, it's a closet. Closet. Here. Ah, there she is. Save just in case something crazy happens. Before you can do anything, a lentil hawk can clamps a cloth over Elvis Hawk's house face. She immediately slumps into unconsciousness. Don't worry, she'll be fine. As long as that crooked bean counter cooperates. Cooperates. <laughs> They're twins. Look at that. Khajiit paint their face to look like the cats of the desert. So let's go back to where we gotta go. Uh, Stockworth. Glemoral Coven adapts. Many adepts may offer you quests. They have yet to find a witch coven. I hear they're pretty tough to find. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some kind of like devolved Argonian. Hour and seven minutes. I know we're getting up there, folks. Again, like I said, I try not to make my videos go over an hour. Um, I do put chapters in my videos so you can kind of dial into what you want to see. So, uh, I've arrived in the city of Stockworth in the Daggerfall region. The date is Lordos, the seventh of Rain's Hand. Still the year 405. Uh, we at Stockworth welcome you into our walls. Many call this their home and extend their welcome. Remember this, lest you forget who you would face in the world outside. Stockworth almost seems to weave a web of sleep upon all those who enter. For its citizens discourage visitors, it seems, however, you, that you are unaffected. Come across someone carrying a quill and several scrolls of sheets of paper. Enter a cartographer. Sure. I will buy the map. Guess I'll find out what the maps do. I'm hoping they mark some kind of location on my map. Oh yeah, any persons from Summoners of Debella will be persecuted to the full extent of the law. Ooh, I wonder what they did. A sly looking husker huckster displays a brick and calls out peasants passers by, apparently in the middle of a multi stage attraction. Ho oh, there, I have it here a slab of solid steel, impervious to weaponry, but I'm convinced that someone here is capable of punching right through it. You there, oh, or you, which of you wants to give it a try? He prefers a small bag of gold for the one who can break the block. Will you try? Um, no. I'm not adept in hand to hand. <clears throat> you can make quite a spectacle of yourself if the challenge went badly for you. Others take your place, injuring their appendages quite seriously. Yeah, I'm not into breaking my hand today. Thank you very much. Or being embarrassed. Right, so, so we got to go... So we came in this way. Down into the right. Like that. Oop, all right. Do -do -do. We're almost done with this quest, folks. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Down over here. Peek at the door just to get the name. Book dealer. Books are worth a hefty sum of gold, so if you guys can ever find books, definitely hold on to them. Right. You enter the central sundrise, hoping that the sun will show itself again. There are many items of interest displayed on the shelves around the shopkeeper. Well, we're not here to shop today. We are here to extort somebody. Save, just in case it becomes aggressive. 
The blood drains from Thier Sir Hawkford's face as he sees his daughter slumped over your shoulder. Elena Hawkton starts to toy with a very small but very sharp dagger. The point is made. The accountant reluctantly admits their embezzlement and hands over several bags of coins to Elena Hawkton, who pr produces the potion required to revive the unconscious girl. Looks like your work here is done. Alright, good job. One more thing to do. What's up, Centaur? We messed around with some centaurs in another video. Took some of their kids and sold them for a couple thousand gold. It was a fantastic time. We're saving, and we are going to the last part of this quest. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that button. Did it say I was starving? Oh, your rations keep me from starving. Alright, uh, last one. Goth Path. Alright, so we are going to Goth Path. Goth Path. We go. Yes, we do. In that trip. Oh, it's a rat booty. Diagonal slashes, horizontal slashes, vertical chops, and thrusts forward. All kinds of swings. Alright, an hour and 11 minutes. Let's see if this is a nice, easy one. Hopefully, this pays a really good sum of gold at the very end of it. If anything, maybe I'll even complete this quest, and then uh, to start my next video, I will collect my coins for this quest, and then move to another county and go on a stealing spree. Some glass bottles and a satchel bag, a traveling alchemist. A heavy bag full of assorted items. So two different people here. There's a healer. All right. Invisibility, no, I can cast that spell. Healing, yes I do. Always will buy healing potions, resist fire, uh, no thanks. And a row. Uthar Hawkhouse, I'm going to Gallotail to sell some of my wares, but I don't mind stopping on the road to do business. Do you want to trade? Sure. An amulet for 125? Uh, sure. Ah, oh, for 150, so I made 25 gold. Bracer for 125. Uh, sure. And a ring, sure. Ah, so that was a loss, and that was a loss. I'll put this stuff on, although I don't think it does anything. I'm thinking I can enchant those at some point, but I'm not really in the Mage's Guild, so... Alright, you're flagged down by a nervous-looking person wearing robes, holding a book. Excuse me, I borrowed this book from Morware Copperston in the Mage's Guild. I need it returned there today. They'll, they'll pay you 50 gold. Can you do it? Ah, uh, sure. Probably that building. Alright, let me talk to somebody. Locations. It's not that. Oh, uh, what's the place? Empires of the Iliac Bay. Adventurers Pot Herbs is what I'm looking for. Southwest of where we're standing. South. So it's probably definitely this store here. I should have said no to that stupid book quest. Fifty gold. we go. Quick save. Rusty relics lie wherever they were last tossed. All the wares show the cracks and chips of shoddy workmanship. A mouse scampers over your feet before burrowing into a nearby sack. Alright. Many of the items of interest are displayed in the shelves around the shopkeeper. This place is a front for other work our businesses require. Elena Hawkton explains the raw materials from our farmsteads are processed here and in a few other similar establishments. Rodin Copperwing is in charge of this operation. We should go talk to him and ignore the goon up front.
Mr. Copperwing. The alchemist half listens to Elena Hawkins' accusations and doesn't seem particularly phased by threats. The nervous twitching and constantly darting glazed over eyes are symptoms of some sort of addiction. Ah, uh, maybe he's hitting that skooma. Maybe the moon sugar. When Elena Hawkins' in in invective finally runs out of steam, the alchemist mumbles that they need an antidote to cure their withdrawal symptoms. The antidote is a large piece of aerograt which the alchemist has in inexplicably hidden away in Greenfield's hold for safekeeping. Looks like you have another detour. Oh, is that a dungeon? Well, I'm not going to a dungeon right now, folks. Because that'll be a whole nother hour of a video. So. Um, we will drop that book off to the Ma Mage's Guild. Let me just make sure this logged it in my logbook. Alright, so yes, okay. So I gotta go to Greenfield's Hold. I'm just gonna drop off this book to the Mage's Guild. And then, uh... We will do the final part of this quest on my next episode, and then after that, we are going to become... We are going... Well, not going to become. We already are a thief, but we are going to focus on breaking and entering, stealing people's items, and uh, getting the Thieves Guild to send us a lovely message to tell us to join them. So, let me just ask really quick. I am looking for the Mages Guild east of here. So let's see, this should narrow it down. So yeah, it's definitely that one right there. As I thought. Get on our cart to make things a little faster. Go in there, drop off the book, and we will call it an end to this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you like that I narrate this as best as I can. I know sometimes I, I'll try not to repeat the same thing over and over because sometimes you go into these shops and they want to give you the same description over and over so I try not to be repetitive but when it comes to the storyline of quests and things of that nature I try to be uh, as detailed and as uh, I don't know as good as I can narrate an open window in the mages guild lets the smell of the spring storm which mingles with the chemical stench that bubbles from an open cauldron. The chamber is filled with arcane objects, jugs, cloaks, scrolls, amulets, tomes, brooches, potions, robes, figurines, talismans. You enter the Mage's Guild and find Morbeth Copperson waiting by the entrance. You hand her the book and receive your payment. Thank you, sir. I could not have gone another day without this. Luck be with thee in thy travels. Uh, easy 50 gold. Alright, so we're going to call it an end to this video here uh, in the Mage's Guild. Tomorrow we were going to go through, um, you know, I mean, we'll see. I'm going to make a video of going through that dungeon. We're going to go get that, those freaking drugs that, that, I don't even understand that. We need more drugs to cure our addiction. No, that sounds like you're just going to make things worse. But as long as we get paid, that's all that matters. But thank you again for watching. Again, my next video, we're going to try our best to get into uh, doing, getting into the Thieves Guild. You know, we'll be looking at picking locks stealing items probably running away from some guards but uh hopefully we'll make a nice profit and uh we'll get a nice letter from the thieves guild and guild basically telling us that we need to join them or there's probably going to be some issues so we're definitely going to join up quest with them and we'll go on from there so thank you again guys for watching always remember come in here save your games every time Daggerfall is a treacherous place, and I have died many times and had to go back quite far, and it's a little bit frustrating, and no one likes having to make a new character because they're rage quitting over dying over something silly or just making a really bad decision. But thank you again, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Come see me in the next episode. This is the Server Supreme, signing off.